so I'm sitting next to the glass slippers butterfly bush and it's blooming but you can also see that some of the blooms are spent and so I want to get rid of those because they can self seed and so you don't want this spreading because it can be invasive in certain areas so this is what I do. Here it is in bloom. I can't, it's not really true to color. It seems like it's like like a pinkish purple, but it's like a very light lavender maybe color with little yellow centers. So that one's fine. This one has flowers. There are some spent little tiny parts right there, but I'm going to leave that one for now. But on this one you can see that this whole piece is spent. And it's usually the middle one that becomes spent first, so I'm going to cut it right there so that the other two can still finish flowering. There. Here's another one with three um, spires. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to call this, but you can see that the two on the outside still have flowers the one in the middle is completely spent, so I'm going to get rid of that. Here's one that's just solitary. Um, it looks like there might be something growing there and there, but for now it's the only flower that I see. Actually, it could be part of this bigger piece. There's one, two, three pieces. I just cut the flower spike off of this third piece. The one in the middle has two, they're both spent, and then this one's spent. So I think I'm just going to take this whole stem down. Oh, except you see here, this is still going to bloom. So if you take it down, you can see it better. These are all spent. That's the one I just cut. But right here, there's a green flower that hasn't budded out yet or is budded but hasn't bloomed. So I don't want to cut that off. So I'm going to cut right here. Well, what's funny is I only have two hands so I'm just <laughs> going to hold it with my toe. But anyway, so there's the one I don't want to cut off. So I'm going to cut here. And <laughs> there you go. The leaves are nice, so it's kind of sad, and it looks like there are fresh leaves here and there. But I want the rest of the plant to have more strength, so I'm fine. <laughs> That's what I cut off. Where'd it go? Where'd the piece I cut off go? Oh, so this is where I cut it, and I left this piece and this leaf, and then here's another spent one, which is lower on the stem than this one. So I'll just cut that off too. There it is. Here's a stem flower on the same stem. Down here, you can see the seed pods forming. So that's what we want to get rid of. Looks like there's a tiny little seed. Over we have some spent ones and a new one, so we'll cut here. Here's a broken one, so that one can come off. Let's see if I can just pull by hand. Yep. Look how cute this is. I love the purple and the green. It's like a very, very light green. 
and all of those little tiny bubbles are going to turn into flowers. It's adorable. Here's one that is totally spent. Those two still have flowers, so I'm going to leave them. Oh, look at that weed. Get out of there. Oh. Definitely don't want that in there. There's a little tiny one, and then a spent one. That one's in full bloom, but it's attached to these that are already spent. And this one just has like just a couple or a few flowers left, so I'm going to cut those two. This one has a couple spent spires and some new buds, so I'll cut right in the middle. Interesting to see how it flowers. It starts from this end and then flowers that way. I'm going to leave that one, but attached to it are these three, this one, and there's one that hasn't flowered yet, so I'm going to cut above that one, but below those dead ones. And there's another spent one right next to the one that hasn't flowered yet. Also, it's starting to rain. Let's try that again. I'll cut it right there. Here's one that's spent, and there's a little tiny baby one right there, but I don't know if it's worth it to save it, but I'm going to anyway. Where'd it go? Oh. There's a broken one. I'll just cut that off. If I can get it. Oh, left-handed. I'm not left-handed. And I think that's it for those. Here's one. And then there's this one that's kind of hanging over the edge of the grass. I see a little tiny couple, a couple little tiny buds right there. And one right here. These are spent. I'll just start with these. These two come together and they branch off here where the new ones are. So I'll just cut the one that's dead off. That one's dead. So I'll just cut it where it branches off. That one has already flowered. I'll cut it here. And this one has flowered. So I'll cut it there. And that leaves the ones that haven't flowered yet to do their thing. Oh, I see one peeking out from under here. It's attached to a little bud right there. So. Oops, I think I cut them both off. No, I didn't. I did. I did, but it fell, the bud fell down there. Anyway, that's okay. Let's see. See any other dead ones? Here's a pretty long one. This whole section is spent. But there's a bloom right here, so I don't want to cut off that, so... That can go. This can stay. This can stay. And this... I guess this can go too. If you take a quick look at the leaves, you can see which leaves it started out with. 
These are from the beginning of the season. And then there are all these new leaves also. So, I mean, personally, I think it's kind of ugly, the old leaves. Um, but I think it's pretty cool that it grows new leaves at the same time. And um, So, I don't know, you could just pick off the old leaves, but I don't know if that's really that good for the plant. The new leaves have this pretty gray, bluish green. They seem like a little bit fuzzy. Yeah. And there's a little bud inside there. And these ones are just a tad greener, and obviously bugs have been enjoying eating them. I don't see any bugs on this, but I don't really spray for things except for neem oil sometimes. There's a new leaf. There's a new leaf. They're all down the stem. And you just want to leave the plant alone pretty much until you see new growth at the bottom and usually I wait till spring to do that and then you'll cut the whole thing down like it's pretty big it's this whole thing right here but at the beginning of the growing season it can all come down all the way to the first set of leaves or the lowest set of leaves if you want and that'll just make it stronger I can see right let's see i'm laying down right now right here let's see if i can catch it on the camera right there there is a little tiny leaf set of leaves let me get it to focus so in spring i'll probably cut right above those leaves they'll be bigger by that time this is Vinca. There's another little leaf bud. And here there are some leaf buds. Right here. They're like a really light gray green at the moment. There's one right there and there. And that's the one I was just pointing out a moment ago. And one there on the other side, right there, and then up here, and here. Right there, a little fuzzy. So you'll just cut above those when it's time. If you see any leaves that have holes like this one and it's just driving you nuts, you can just pluck it off. Like this one's yellowing, almost looks like chlorosis, could be, you can just take it off. Especially since you know it's going to grow all these little leaves. So there's one that just has been eaten by bugs. You can take it off. Here's one. There's one. If you see yellow leaves or brown leaves like this, well, that one already fell off, but there are some that are kind of hanging off the stems. Like this one, you can just pull it off. This one's been devoured pretty much. There's raindrops. And you're left with a sweet little glass slipper bouquet. <gasps> and an inchworm. Hi, inchworm.
And of course, a weed while you're at it.